This is the story of a single 35 year old having an IRL e pray love moment and taking herself to Rome. This is the story of a single 35 year old living in New York City, deciding it's not too late to move to London and start over on love and life. Life didn't happen the way I thought it would in my thirties. My life has been incredibly full, but marriage and kids hasn't been in the cards yet. So maybe it'll all be for a reason in the end. People keep saying I'm brave and I guess I am, but I won't lie. I'm also so scared, but I'm still just doing it because life's about moving forward. Even when you're uncomfortable, packed half my apartment. Only thing we have control over in our lives is ourselves. And here we go. This morning, once I landed at the Leonardo da Vinci airport, I found myself excited to visit one of the most beautiful cities on earth, but I'm not going to lie. There was a little voice in me that was a little sad thinking, why am I having to travel solo again? And at this age, as I had my first cappuccino overlooking the eternal city, I remembered what ancient Romans thought. They believed that no matter what happened to the world, no matter how many other empires might rise and fall, Rome would go on forever to be one of the greatest cities in the world. And 3000 years later, how could they have predicted something so close to the truth? Because no matter what's happened in your life, no matter how many relationships rise and fall, strong women will forever go on. So I treated myself to a really nice hotel the first night. I danced around to some glorious Italian opera and realized all was going to be okay this week. As Elizabeth Gilbert says, when I get lonely these days, I think, so be lonely, Brit. Learn your way around loneliness. Make a map of it. Welcome to the human experience. I've always waited for the perfect guy, opportunity, occasion, and I'm tired of waiting. So what if I get married in my 40s and start adulting then? That's my plan. I think we often forget that at the end of the day, we're here on earth to enjoy our own lives too. A me moon, by the way, is when you stop waiting for the perfect opportunity and just take yourself on that special trip you've always wanted to go to. The first night, I was on the hunt for the most truffly pasta in Venice. As I walked to town, I had to stop and soak it in. I can't believe I'm actually here. I walked by the cutest boutique. I think I need this dress, right? Naturally headed to George Clooney and Elton's favorite restaurant. I mean, look at the amount of truffles. Thank God I had no one to worry about smelling my truffle breath. I've coined the term me moon to start inspiring others to take their own dream honeymoons without waiting any longer. And let's be honest, it's silly that some people label cities as romantic spots we can only go with a partner. I'm 36, living a full life against society's perfect timelines because I can, you can. Life isn't always about waiting for someone to complete your life. Your life does not end at 30. I've done the craziest thing the past five years. I actually moved to New York when I was 30. I joined three modeling agencies when I was 31. I ran a worldwide dating app. I became a matchmaker. I personally were 30 for a decade to truly explore your own life still. So.